Hey, what's going on, y'all? Thank you so much for tuning in. So I'm going to do something a little different, right? I'm going to go through, um, since Virgo, you guys are my biggest collective, okay? Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to break your your readings down by Zodiac. So I'm starting off with Aries. So if you're dealing with the Aries, um, yeah, this is for you guys, Virgo and Aries, okay? So let's see what's going on. Don't forget, flip the rolls. Take only what you need. This could be anybody, okay? Literally, but the person that's in mind for you that's in Aries, um, yeah, this message will be centered around that particular person, okay? So let's see what's going on here thank you for blessing my cards holy spirit thank you for blessing us protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you thank you to my guides for showing up and showing out my true guides thank you for helping me to deliver a message for virgo's highest good and so it is all right so if you are virgo dealing with an aries this message is for you once again don't forget the timelines could be different for all of you i pick up on past present future energy so at any time this could be your message okay um if you're triggered by anything please face the mirror please be mindful of your comments as well i try to keep the community uplifted why because my goal is to help you to evolve and to help you manifest okay so if you're vibing low if you're speaking negative things then it's going against what you actually really are praying for and desiring for yourself okay so please keep that in mind i do um censor the comments you guys thank you what's the energy for virgo dealing with an aries What is this Aries energy towards Virgo? <clears throat> the seat card comes out in the reverse next to the rest and rejuvenation card. And the storm warning tries to come out. Okay, so there's definitely, you know, it could have been some deception. A lot of um, manipulation, hidden tactics, all types of stuff is what I'm seeing. So... It's either the storm has already came and passed or it's coming, right? It's that energy. So I'm going to pull tarot and just see what this is about, all right? So tell me about the deceit card. It, it feels a lot heavily like somebody needs to get still, okay? Because they're still in this deceptive state. Yep, the sun card comes out in the reverse. Okay, so when it comes to you know uh, this new beginning and staying positive and seeing the brighter side of things this person here in your life Virgo they're definitely not really seeing that they're not in alignment with that the higher front comes out okay they're not in alignment with that at all you're um what you're committed to your journey any of that okay so show me what I need to see about the deceit reverse The lovers comes out next to you. the Queen of Pentacles next to you. Woo, a Queen of Wands. Oh my gosh. Okay. It says, um, mm, Virgo, I don't know if you got like, is this a third party situation here? And you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, okay. <laughs> or you could be dealing with, um, yeah, because the Queen of Pentacles is you. You could be dealing with a Gemini here that may have fire sign in their chart. Or they could be a fire sign too as well. But when I'm pulling in, yeah, th this could be, I feel like they could be this Aries. Is this King of Wands coming through? Okay. Um, and I keep hearing, I don't know why I keep hearing Sagittarius. So it could be somewhere in that chart. Okay. But what I feel like here is that, wow, you may be on a twin flame journey. Okay. With um, someone. Alright, so we're going to keep pulling. This person, definitely, you got a strong bond with this person here. And what I'm sensing here, yep, two of pentacles comes out. Somebody's juggling. Virgo, either this is you, okay, or this is your person here. That's juggling. That's juggling. Wow. Show me what I need to see. Tell me about this, um, the lovers. So somebody is making a choice is what I'm hearing. Temperance. Yeah, some balance bring, being brought between you and your lover. Your twin flame. That's the energy I'm pulling in. Okay. Definitely third party type situation. 
nine of wands comes out in the upright position here so it's almost like Virgo you're winning the battle wow tell me about this king of wands energy so you may have been placed in a very competitive environment <clears throat> and here the storm is passing by now it's like the storm is leaving you've been going through something here with your twin mm -hmm. four of wands upright next to the ace of wands in the reverse position yeah a lot of demanding challenges when it comes to you building a firm foundation here with that lover okay and what it feels like again it's like now somebody's ready to get things done here with this king of wands energy coming through it's like now they're ready to show up they're ready to move forward here um, after a lot of turbulence after having to deal with karma basically will of fortune comes out in a reverse position this person was running from commitment is what I'm seeing here and now they're they're committing to this process it feels like they're, they're now in alignment coming in that upright position here so tell me about this storm warning page of pentacles comes out next to the ace of cups in reverse next to the page of swords that just came out and next to the knight of cups reverse and that's what it seems to be so basically somebody has been making self love their priority and kind of like disconnecting from um, someone okay so you could have even been doing that Virgo like you know what let me focus on myself here let me worry about what I'm manifesting and and that's it what I'm, my goals I'm going after that right and it's causing the person in your life to be highly triggered because of it right but they were not coming in offering you anything stable and so a lot of stuff has been communicated here in regards to that and with this page of swords energy it feels like it feels like what you guys are communicating to each other is is straightforward okay it's like everything that you've been thinking you speak in it and what I feel like is that you could have been holding back on expressing this truth for a minute. And so has this person in your life. They haven't really been, you know, thinking thinking these things through. Okay? And this is what has been causing a lot of turbulence for you. But the storm, the storm basically came or is coming to help shift your perspective and to also get the stuck energy moving. Right? Too much deceit. Okay? Yeah. Here with the five of pentacles here next to the four of pentacles. Too much holding on to the wrong things right it's time to release because it is basically time for these challenges that you have been going through here especially in your love life to come to an end so yeah I'm, I'm definitely feeling like here you're now overcoming certain things or you will be okay you will be overcoming it because I do feel like a sense of you're gonna end up choosing your freedom choosing yourself here but I f it also can go back or stem to you know you know how you can have this mindset of you may be fearful of losing the connection with this person and it stems back to some type of abandonment issues um, from childhood is what I'm hearing but I definitely feel like you are healing it's like you're on this self love journey at this point Virgo okay so whatever the falling out is that is taking place or t that has taken place because it was some type of conflict but I do see you moving on okay from that Someone's making a choice. Seven of Cups coming out here right in the upright position. So basically, yeah, someone has been searching for their purpose, basically. I feel like the person that you're connected to, they definitely are someone who is a dreamer, okay? They make decisions based off of the options that they have, and they're prone to illusion. So, of course, they've been choosing wrong, and it created, what, a chaotic love life for yourself. The devil card comes out. Okay, so yep, they may have um, definitely chose a karmic connection. Okay, with someone is what I'm seeing, and that's what's been causing yep, the Three of Pentacles comes out. That's what's been causing the chaotic situation. It, it's been bringing an imbalance here to you guys and causing a lot of conflict between you guys because. You can't successfully share your goals with each other for of wands in a reverse or create something stable here within the connection because of their choices, because of making look, them being in the Knight of Wands reverse energy. Okay, them being reckless, um, non committal, in and out, right? So, whatever the upheavals that you could be going through or were going through or will be going through 
it may make you feel um, that lack of stability or security here within the connection. I definitely feel like it's been a breakdown in communication here between y'all. Definitely feeling uncertain about the relationship. Mm -hmm. So the fool card comes out. So Virgo, either you just realize and look, let me free myself from this and just take a chance and take this leap of faith here. But guess what? Because you're doing that, there's some surprises in store for you. Mm -hmm. The lover's card comes in the reverse. Because of the disharmony here in this situation and the bad choices, you're deciding to make a good choice for yourself or you you already done it. Yep, this is why you're getting your breakthrough. All right now, Ace of Swords and the upright. You're getting this breakthrough, boom. All right, so I feel like you get the keys. The keys are give, being given to you from the universe for choosing your freedom. Okay, so because of that, you can close doors. You can open doors. Okay, and this is all leading to your manifestation. It's like your vortex is open. So whatever you are desiring is coming through that door. It ain't going to come all at once, of course, but however... Yep, nurture yourself, okay? Make sure you're still constantly pouring into yourself just as you would a child. Your inner child still needs a lot of nurturing, okay? Because I do feel like this has been a triggering situation for you, but you have definitely pushed through it or you will be, okay? So if you are triggered at the time and it's happening to you right now, honey, breathe. <sighs> Remember, everything that you experience is for your growth. It's helping you to develop your own curriculum so that you can help other people to overcome these toxic situations, right? Or un or um, emotionally unbalanced situations, okay? Um, here, outdoors, of course, it's been coming out in every reading I have done. Spirit is like, get outside, okay? Moon cycle comes out too, okay? So, on June, no, July 28th at 10.55, we have a new moon coming in. You can set your intentions, okay, because that's the best time to manifest those intentions. And don't forget that you will, you may be affected, like your energy may be affected by the new moon. So if you're feeling a little wonky, this is why, okay, July 28th, 10.55 p.m., all right, 12.22 on my timer. Um, but your um, guides, they're helping you with this spiritual soulmate relationship. So, yeah, you definitely got some type of um, connection here with someone, Okay, which could one of these people are your twin? All right, and one of them is a karmic energy coming through. Okay, so look, like I said, just breathe. Okay, notice the, how the moon affects your energy because if you're feeling like exhausted, get outside, rest, rejuvenate, it, and that's mental exhaustion too. Do some yoga, meditate, things like that, pray. Okay, so that you can, you will get through the storm is what I heard. I said so that you can get through the storm, but you will get through the storm. You just have to stay optimistic about it and try to change your perspective about what's happening here. It's happening to you, but it's happening for your greatest good so that you can get out of this stuck situation here and then on to the path that's leading you to your happiness, Virgo. All right, so whoops, I breathe, y'all. That's how I felt too just now. Like, oh my God. <laughs> but... I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I think I'm going to keep trying to do this maybe at least once a week. So stay tuned. Peace.